crowned new champions at Raise in the Cage tonight. We will see exclusive footage of the new Southern Tag Team Champions and the new OVW Heavyweight Champion, and we will speak to each and every one of them on tonight's show. I'm Dean Hill alongside Kenny, the Star Maker Bowler. Thanks to all the great OVW fans that braved the severe weather to get here tonight. We're going to kick things off. Muhammad Ali Baez and the man that loves to steal the show. Right now, let's go to Ron Head in the ring. The following matchup is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Mr. B. He is from the land of Persia. Weighing in tonight at 214 pounds, Mohammed Ali Baez. And you'll notice the one thing missing from around the waist of Baez is the television title that is still a proudly being worn by Mr. Alex Silva. Not only did the Silva take the title off of Ali here a few weeks ago on OVW television, but at Rage in the Cage in defense of the title. And you see that he doesn't have it, Jenny. That's right. Alex Silva has the biggest problem in the locker room for Muhammad Ali Baez. But not a concern for this man. Talk about a man that loves to steal the show. We're talking about a man that's back here on a mission. I'll tell you about that just a second. His opponent from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in tonight at 219 pounds. This is Slash. Slash, one of the OBW originals. As we're getting ready to kick things off here on OVW television, we get our ring announcer, Ron Head, out of the ring. Mr. B looming around the front over here as uh, our referee checks Flash, as is uh, customary anytime we're getting ready to, to go into a collar and elbow. Hold on. Oh, Calling for the bell. And you have, of course, we talked about Flash, his situation out here. He wants all of the quality wins he can get. He's trying to improve his ranking in the world of professional wrestling and wants a title shot, Kenny, here in OVW. Well, it's kind of like NCAA basketball, man. you got to pile up as many quality wins as you can get. Uh, taking on a bunch of jabronis ain't going to get you anywhere. you got to take on the name talent, and that's exactly what Flash is doing here. And a win tonight would go a long way in moving him back up in those rankings. Of course, you got to be willing to take on any kind of a situation out here. you got to be able to hold on. i got to cover one, two. you got to be able to, especially if a man is in your face, if a man is getting ready to take you to task, any man that is a man would be able to stand up and take care of that kind of a situation. Isn't that right? Oh, I would certainly agree with that. I mean, it wouldn't be a situation where someone, when they were afraid of uh, someone probably taking them to task, would do what you did the other night, which is fake a heart attack in Me. front of everybody so that Jim Cornette would kick your butt. Man, fake? Are you are you out of your mind? Have you read my Facebook page? You Didn't fake. you see? Didn't you see the minute that I left here? It was posted on Facebook, man. I was rushed to the hospital. I was in the critical care unit for four days, Dean. Four days, not one visitor called from you, I might add. You made I the whole line. thing up and you know it. That's bull, man. I flatlined four times, four times from what they tell me. Four times I was dead, Dean Hill. Not nothing from you. And the only reason I'm here tonight is a miracle of God from above and that I will not neglect my dereliction of duties right here at the broadcast booth with you. Your dereliction of duties. Uh, my you, supreme you, dereliction of duties, you, I might add. You are a loon. You think that whole thing. You didn't want Cornette to make you look bad. You didn't want Cornette to uh, to take you, you to test. saying that. My you family you might believe you. <laughs> that was hilarious. I had to go to an undisclosed hospital just so the, the thousands of fans in the Louisville area wouldn't storm down there to see me. I mean, the idea that you even had the forklift out here to help get you out of the ring, I mean, that was. It you was, know, was a was, reinforced gurney. It wasn't a forklift. I'm a big man. <laughs> You're a big faker if you ask me. Right now, however, what's happening out here in the ring to Muhammad Ali Baez is the real deal, baby. Not like the, hold on, Mr. B. Mr. B with the interference from outside. I think you got big faker confused with your wife, Dean, if you know what I mean. Right now, we got a roll. Come cover one, two. Sure, she's faked a many. How dare you? How dare you? I-N-D-E-E-D. Indeed. Hold on, got to cover one, 
two, and hook the far well, leg, but flash kicks here, out. If you're done insulting me out here long enough that you point out when you do take on I'm quality just competition, out you've made that when up, you, you do know you did. take on quality competition, like in college basketball, when you take on the big names, you run the risk of getting beat. And if Flash loses tonight, he don't move up in the rankings, he moves down. And that's the risk you take when you take on somebody so, with a caliber, a former champion like Ali. So you think rather than taking a chance on getting beat, getting punched, getting slapped around, Flash ought to maybe like fake, fake a heart attack? Shut up. <laughs> you know you did. I'm going to cover one, two, and Flash kicks you, out. You Mom. think I'm that low that I would fake a heart attack to get out of a fight that I obviously had won before death nearly met I me at the door. I think you'd fake a heart attack to get out of a traffic ticket. I think you'd fake a heart attack to get out of a, a, a marriage. I think you'd fake a heart attack to get out of paying a bill at the local restaurant. That way you don't have to carry the bugs in your pocket anymore and put well, them in all your those, chili. All those might have some truth to them, but I'd never get a never fake a heart attack to get out of a fight with Cornette. I've, I've kicked his butt 100 times. Elbow into the gut, another one 101 now. One more time, and Ali takes uh, Flash firing you down. Right now, the opportunity created cover, but does not hook a leg. And I'm telling you right now, you got to do a lot more to secure it. He's looking at the hook in the far leg. Go. One, two, and Let's a kick out again say, for Flash. Ali can take some lessons from me on how to handle another man because last time I saw Cornette, he was flat on his back in that ring before uh, the unfortunate d demise nearly of me. But uh, I, I could offer some, some advice to uh, – Mr. Ali, he could win this thing in a minute or two yeah, if he listened to I'm me. I'm just glad you said Ali and not Paradise taking advance on how to handle another man. Right now, Flash trying to get back up to a vertical base. Elbow into the gut. Another one into the gut of Ali Valles. Shoulder tackle, but Ali in behind him quickly. Into, oh, into the sleeper. Can Ali hook this in? Is there something about Paradise that you would like to tell me about you and he? No, I thought maybe you had something, but let's don't get uh, out of focus here is what's going on right now. Ali Baez trying to send a message that he should maybe have another shot at the TV title, but the man that loves to steal the show is the man to go through right now, and, and Baez didn't just uh, end up well, here in the ring with a man who just fell off the pumpkin truck. And Ali all of a sudden reflecting back to that old ghost from the 70s, Muhammad Ali was some of some of those great punches there, but Flash battles back. Trying to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, like that knife edge chop, dude. And another one, that stung like a bee. You know me, Dean Hill, I love the knife edge chops. I love them. Like, like the true Muhammad Ali used to say, here, take this with you. Right across the ring, big backdrop on Baez. I don't know that he ever said that. Oh, oh yeah, when he used to punch him with a jab on the way out of a break, he'd say, here, take that with you. Oh, well, okay. Right now, oh, a big fist. There's an Ali-like fist well, to you, the chin of Muhammad you, Ali. You, 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 you set ringside for many of those fights, so you'd know better than me. Ah, uh, the thrill in Manila. Oh, right now, another fist from uh, from Baez. Sutton finally get up for the right across the ring. Oh, over the top goes Flanagan. Baez has no clue where he is. Super kick in the tin ring. That might be trouble right there, referee down. Look oh, out. look at Mr. Oh, B. Oh, look at Mr. It. B. The interference from outside what? again. Oh, oh, Silva. What? Silva came out of the back room and just tatered Mr. B here in front of the television desk. Uninvited and unauthorized, I might add. He's got no oh, business Oh, hold on, look at the roll-up. The, the low blow from Ali Vez, the low blow. I didn't see a thing. Silva saw what it, Silva the saw it. What the hell is he doing? He's pointing it out to the referee. In he's, the middle of a two count? He's pointing out to the referee that Vez went to the low blow. He had him down for a five count before they ever got to two. Baez turned his attention away from Flash, and you don't want to do that. Look out, look out. One. Oh, oh yeah. got to be kidding me. Your winner, Flash. Ali Baez. Not only did Silva take the title and keep it from him during Rage in the Cage, but now Silva has come out here to make sure that Mr. B and Ali Baez didn't pull any shenanigans with Flash. Indeed.